Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine and in this video we're going to kick the new year off right with crawfish etouffee. Thanks for being here ladies and gentlemen. It just so happened that while my wife was shopping at our local Walmart here in California, she stumbled across some Louisiana frozen crawfish tails. She got excited, she wanted to surprise me, she picked up two packages, brought them home, and I was so tickled, I was like a kid in a candy store. And now, I get to bring to you one of my most favorite dishes of all times, crawfish etouffee. <sighs> Let's get to that recipe. For this one, we're gonna need a quarter cup of butter, or half a stick, quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of chopped onions, one cup of chopped bell pepper, three quarters of a cup of chopped celery, two teaspoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, three teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon dried thyme, one teaspoon dried oregano, half teaspoon cayenne pepper, half teaspoon of white pepper, one 15 ounce can of diced petite tomatoes with juice, three cups of chicken stock, one pound of Louisiana and frozen crawfish tails, three cups of cooked rice, depending on the size of your family. You can go less or more if you need to. We wanna start off by melting our butter. And uh, once we get that in our Dutch oven or whatever pan that you're using, um, we wanna add our flour. And what we're doing here is we're making a roux and um, once you get that flour in there, you want to stir it and mix it around consistently, non-stop for at least 15 minutes until you get a nice dark uh, milk chocolate color. And then from here, we're going to add our vegetables. Once we get our vegetables in, we're going to give that a good mix and we're going to cook them down for probably 8 to 10 minutes. We want to get these vegetables soft. Then from here, we're going to add our garlic. Get our garlic mixed in there. Let that cook down for about two minutes or so and then start adding in our dry seasonings. Just follow the recipe. Uh, get all those seasonings incorporated and mixed around and then we'll add our tomatoes. And uh, I'm gonna mix these tomatoes and actually let them cook down for probably a good eight minutes or so. And then once that's done, we're gonna add our chicken stock. And uh, I wanna incorporate this roux and this chicken stock together. And it's gonna to start to thick up a little bit. And I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna lower it to, uh, to a simmer, cover and let it cook for probably about 45 minutes or so. And after that 45 minutes, uh, give this a look. And now that I've got all those flavors and stuff incorporated, it's not as thick as I'd like. So I'm gonna cook it uncovered for probably another 15 to 20 minutes or so. And now that I've gotten to the consistency that I like, I'm gonna add my crawfish. Normally I would add one package, but I got excited. I had to add both of them. And I'm gonna give this a nice mix and let it cook down for another eight minutes or so. And then uh, we're gonna serve it up and eat, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this is what we have. Well, that wraps this one up, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, please do me a favor, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell so that you'll know when next week's uh, video drops. And if you have any issues trying to find any of the seasonings that I use, or even the crawfish, I will leave links down below so that you can find out where to purchase those. And trust me when I say, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna use Louisiana crawfish. Do not use the Chinese stuff. Use the crawfish from Louisiana. That link will be down below. And uh, until next week.